It's Soda for the Pinion Channel, Saturday morning news, Saturday morning, November 1st, 2014. <laughs> A good morning to you all on this Saturday morning, the 1st of November, 2014. Here now, your news and lines here. Our top story, the first sign that there was a problem with Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 came at about 45,000 feet just two minutes after the space plane separated from the jet-powered aircraft that carried it aloft. In Los Angeles, three teenage girls trick-or-treated in Halloween costumes were killed by a hit and run driver at a Southern California intersection on Friday night, the 4th said. The leader of Niger's Islamic extremist group Boko Haram says that 219 schoolgirls kidnapped in Chibok early this year have all converted to Islam and been buried off. Rival military factions claimed to were in Burkina Faso on Saturday after the West African nation's president fled fall in the days of violent arrests over the plans to extend its choice of your rule. <coughs> in Chicago, never mind that slump opener, LeBron James scored 36 points at the Cleveland Cavaliers, rebound from a home loss to New York to meet the Rick Rose of the Chicago Bulls, 140 to 108 in overtime Friday night. Uh. Amanda Bynes has been shut down in a legal bid to tribute a parent's conservation ship which made the place after her challenge was dismissed. <coughs> in Baghdad, Islamic State militants have killed 85 more members of the al Nimr tribe in Iraq in a killing campaign, much less week in the retaliation for resistance against the group's territorial events the tribal leader and security officials said on Saturday. Canada bars visas from evil hit countries. Canada has suspended visa application for residents of national countries and widespread transmission of Ebola virus, becoming a second nation after Australia to introduce such a measure. In San Francisco, storms rain on the San Francisco Giants World Series Championship parade before moving south where they brought fears of flooded and public evacuation of several homes north of Los Angeles over mudslide concerns. In Seattle, a 14-year-old Marysville school girl who was critically injured after a student opened fire in the Marysville High School cafeteria last week has died, raising it have told that it shoot it to four. Diane tumbled to its lowest level in nearly seven years against it all on Friday, putting it on a track in its biggest losses in 18 months after the Bank of Japan chucked markets in its expect league. He's in fervor policy, fervor. Hackers in industry broke into the website that the J.P. Morgan Chase corporate challenge before Friday they're waiting on the bank's website. People briefed on the investigation of the cyber attack said. In Beijing, China's manufacturing growth declined further in October amid a slow economic and language of global demand, according to a survey released Saturday. On Friday, officials at the U.S. Federal Communication Commission revealed that new rules will be bought by the agency to ensure real consumer choice at time when copper based networks in the country are being shipped to IP networks. They may both be yet, but, no, but when it comes to the president, the next the six is more of a Google device where the joint trover is actually better associated with Brasson. On Friday, Amazon released a report to tell the Democratic President's employees that workforce safety to nominate by the president to white males. Two shows. Nobody really cared about A to Z and Bad Judge were canceled by NBC. Entertainment Weekly reports that NBC will continue to air both shows but without produce any more episodes. A new study showed that a fungal disease which has killed Europe's salamanders and newts could soon impact the species in the United States. Campaigners against global warming and the billionaires to opponents are get out by one word this weekend. Irreversible, April is 48 times at a drop of the most important report so far climate change. Being finalized today, the company has signified that Orient spacecraft from NASA is on a way to start a sort of a space exploration that will go beyond the moon and a feasible reality. Oriented is the first spacecraft by the NASA that has been designed by securing human beings on a mission that are long range. Who knows? It's been reported that NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has captured the faded, closely glow of stars. Scientists believe that the glow is injected from major galaxies that were torn apart due to the gravitational pull several billion years ago. A judge in Maine rejected the state's first attempt to forcibly quarantine a nurse who had been clashing with officials over the defiance of a voluntary Ebola quarantine on Friday, reversed a court order that briefly mandated she avoid public places. 
Yan said to the African Austrians that several bits different to the global fight to start people, which has so far claimed 5,000 lives. A new study revealed that scratching gives birth to a nerve chemical named as serotonin after some time that the chemical increases itches to feel to a great extent. Take a look at New England Alerts here in 805. Here in Park Maine, a third alarm fire at 24 Noy Street, and a third alarm has been struck fire at all three for the two subjects of the committee. And in Manchester, after a stabbing at 21 Main Street, had two victims at a box cup or stabbing and left victims left the area. Take a look at Spots News here at 805. Here, Chicago Cubs hired former Tampa Bay Rays manager Joel Madden despite clear dilemma. Stephen Curry in the Golden State Warriors opened an easy victory day when he would have another favorable matchup against Windless Los Angeles on the verge of the worst start since moving west from Minneapolis back in 1916. Matt Kenseth talks to the school after the graduating waits for part to begin Sunday Sprint Cup Series on the way at Martinsville Speedway in Martinsville, Virginia, as Kenseth still feels terrible after Kevin Harvick went. In the first week, the NBA season improved the level of lead Saturday for the Los Angeles Lakers, and four points for the Los Angeles Times. It is Los Angeles Lakers off to their worst start since moving west from Minneapolis back in 1960. And today, the Boston Birds will be at the Garden, taking on the Ottawa Senators at 7 o'clock. And the Boston Celtics will be taking on the Houston Rockets in Houston. Game time, 8 o'clock down in Houston, which is 7 o'clock their time. Here, Pair of Channel News Times, 8 6 and it is time off our travel report here on this Saturday morning here, the 1st of November. Here, And let's take a look at the travel situation here. And it shows... Smooth sailing our ways, my ways of New England, there. And we're going to zoom you to an excellent scene, dear. Uh, on Bridgewater, and to the right lane, but on Route 24, step out at exit 14, which is 495. Here, but otherwise, a smooth sailing lead here on this Saturday morning as we take a look at a weather situation here on this Saturday morning, here. Our current conditions here in North Massachusetts at 8 o'clock here. We have a temperature. 45 degrees on temperature with the humidity of 67 percent with me. Not about 9. Because at about 17 miles per hour. Barometer 285 inches. Two about 30 degrees at visibly 10 miles. Wind chill about 40 degrees. All right, let's take a look at the river. Current conditions around the region here, 43 degrees on temperature around Boston, it's 40 in Boston Harbor, 43 in Fitchburg, 41 in Bedford and Beverly in Naval, 45 in Gloucester, 39 in Worcester, 42 in Sturbridge and Milford, 41 in Webster, 43 in Norwood, 46 in Taunton, 49 in New Bedford, 52 in Plymouth, 52 in Palmerston and then Chatham, 50 in Falmouth, 53 in Cape Cod Bay, 51 in Marfa's Vineyard, 52 in Block Island, nope, 52 in Marfa's, 52 in Nantucket, 48 in Block Island, 47 in Westley, 41 in Smithfield, it's 47 degrees out of New York City in the slip, 50 in Montauk, 47 in Bridgeport, 45 in New Haven, 43 in Waterbury, 45 in Debray, in Meriden, and Hartford, and Windsor Locks, 44 in Springfield, 41 in Everest, 42 in Greenfield, and Nepal, and in North Adams. 40 in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, and Albany, New York, 42 in Bayton, 38 in Brownsburg, Vermont, it's 34 in Brooklyn, 39 in Keene, Hampshire, 37 in Jeffrey, New Hampshire, it's 41 in Nashua, New Hampshire, 36 in Manchester, New Hampshire, 35 in Concord, New Hampshire, 42 in Pottsburg, New Hampshire, it's 43 in Lake Korea, New Hampshire, and 43 up in Portland, Maine. Here, take a look at a map situation right around the country here, and it shows, and it shows a cold front up the California, up to Nevada, and station front up in Idaho, station front for Montana, down for Wyoming, down for eastern Colorado, down for western Texas, and a cold front from eastern Texas down to the Gulf of Mexico, and then station front down for the Carolinas, and a cold front from western Cuba up the. A land coast of the stage right at the sea, and I've got a front of it with a low pressure off the Delaware coast. I'm stretching it all the way down through the middle of the state, and then up into southern Quebec, and another front of it from eastern Michigan, down from eastern Ontario, down from western northern West Virginia. We got a front of it up in eastern Montana, down from western South Dakota, down from Nebraska. Warm stage and cold front from southern Alberta, down from Saskatchewan, a warm front down from southeastern Saskatchewan, down from North Dakota. Here we got a front of it from northeastern Nevada, down from northern Utah, and a front of it from southern Nevada, down from western Arizona, down from Gulf of California. And a front of from Northern Oregon, uh, Central Washington State, up in the southeast portions of British Columbia. Here. High pressure in the fall quarter region, Northern Iowa. Why got some low pressure in Northern in Southeast portions of Montana, Northern Nevada, Southern Nevada, Central Washington State, 
And the count is up the Delaware Coastline here. 35 degrees at temperature right now in Detroit. It's 40 out of Pittsburgh. 51 in Washington, D.C. It's 40 in Atlanta. 61 in Miami. 4 to 59. Out of Brownsville, Texas. It's 39 in Dallas, Texas. It's 30 out of Kansas City. 20 in Omaha. 24 in Minneapolis, St. Paul. 35 in Chicago. 37 in Great Falls, Montana. It's 49 out of Seattle. 57 in San Francisco. 61 out of Los Angeles. 66 in Las Vegas. 59 out of Salt Lake City. 37 in Denver, Colorado. 73 out of Phoenix. And 53 out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Here. All right, let's take a look at the radar situation here. And it shows us. Match line, line of rain. So it shows raining around the Cape and Islands, around south coast of Massachusetts, around Bedford, and stretching down to southeastern Rhode Island, around Newport, Rhode Island, down to coastal Rhode Island, and stretching down to central, southeastern, and central portion connected from Hartford, down to New London, down to New Haven here. And we'll zoom you out here. And some rain showers when summer rain, sleet, snow, sleet, and rain showers up at the north central bay, the north western portion of the country. A lot of rain showers from Nova Scotia to the west, or the eastern portions of Prince Edward with a few snow flurries and western portions of Prince Edward on the sleeting round central. Prince Edward out here. We're seeing some rain, sleet, and snow showers in central western New York and the eastern Ontario, down in Pennsylvania, and a lot of rain showers by northeastern Ohio. Snow showers by southwestern portions of Ohio, down to southeastern Indiana. Snow showers by the eastern portions of Kentucky. Snow, sleet, and rain showers. Snow showers in western Virginia, western North Carolina, eastern Tennessee, and Kentucky, about to swallow some rain showers by. Central Virginia, Daphne, Carolina, and Daphne, Northeast, and Portia, Georgia. And a swath of snow around Central South Carolina here. And a lot of rain showers down the California coastline. Rain showers and sleet of snow showers by the eastern California, Daphne, Western Nevada, and Southern Oregon here. Rain, sleet of snow showers by Northeast, and Oregon, Daphne, Eastern Washington State, Northern, and Central and Southeast, and Portia, and hold down by the Yellowstone Valley, right by Wyoming here. And rain showers in Western Colorado City and snow rain showers in Southern Portugal, Colorado, and Northern New Mexico. Here. And we're seeing some snow, sleet, and rain showers in Central Portions of Alberta, sleet, and Western Portions of Alberta, and rain, sleet, and snow showers in Northeastern Portions of Alberta. Here. All right, let's take a look at Satellite Loop here. All right, let's take a look at a satellite loop in Atlantic clouds from the Appalachian up the Atlantic seaboard and on Atlantic Canada. Atlantic clouds coming from the Falkwater region and then up in the Northern Rockies and up in the Northern California, Nevada, up in Oregon, Washington State, down for British Columbia, Alberta, down for Saskatchewan, and Manitoba, and down for Minnesota, down for Central Iowa, down for Missouri here, and Atlantic clouds by Kentucky, Tennessee. All right, let's take a look. What is going on in the tropics here? Because I hear that the Eastern Pacific is getting Vance, the travel storm. Now in Brooklyn, Atlanta. Okay, the latest on travel storm Vance there. Cell location 9.5 to the north, 102.7 to the west. The max is 8 with about 40 miles per movement, west about 7 miles an hour here. As we take a look at the public advisory forecast here, as bets and bets westward is expected to straight there, and there are no close watch borders in effect here. At 2 a.m. Pacific time, now we to see that several Trump's of bets west located near latitude 9.4 to the north, longitude 102.7 to the west. The bets is moving toward the west near 7 miles per 11 kilometers hour, and a turn toward the west northwest at a faster forward speed is expected later today, followed by a turn toward the northwest by Sunday night. Max same with a near 40 miles per 65 kilometers hour, with our guests and strength in this forecast during the next 40 hours, and how bets can become. Hurricane by Sunday night and Trump's own force winds extended was up to 45 miles, 75 kilometers are from the center. That's every minute of central pressure is 1,005 mil bars at 29.68 inches here. And we got another trouble to disturbance here. An air of low pressure about 1,200 miles southwest of the 7th of the Baja Cafe Peninsula is producing a few distal air showers and thunderstorms. Although upper level winds are forecasted to be generally favorable over the next day, so 
drag air to the city. The system should limit its significant development while it moves toward the west, west, southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour during the next few days. Money should shed for us. Low 10%. Money should shed for days. Low 10%. Here. And you got Southern Pacific Outlook. Here. No talks of uh, cyclones expected to start late Sunday night. Here. Okay, take a look at the public discussion forecast around the country here. Modern heavy snow expected to remain in parts of the northern Rockies this weekend. A much below normal temperature anticipated across the eastern third of the nation. Highland provide flow regime will predominate across the coast. Canada and the United States as we enter the month of November. A powerful close low driving across. The southeastern United States will bring an early taste of winter to the southern Appalachian as a strong dynamic cooling results in the accumulated through across higher elevations on Saturday. Amounts will be relatively limited due to the rapid movement of the system, and the future moves offshore later Saturday and the surface cyclogenesis off the Carolina coast, which would strengthen as it moves to the eastern seaboard as a result much of the east coast of the a very cool, breezy, and subtle weather conditions throughout the weekend. The most significant precipitation are after early Saturday morning, the spectrum over the office with weather and overall precipitation pushing by Saturday afternoon should be so that mostly rain, but cold air effective from Eastern Canada will allow precipitation to change the storm Saturday uh, across all but coastal sections of Maine. There will be relatively low in the precipitation late Saturday, but as the coastal low strengthens that moves northward into Nova Scotia, a second man of eight precipitation all snow will sweep across Maine. Snowfall bats over the possible over east central sections of the state, and meanwhile, high pressure settling over the beyond the low. Will bring widespread freezing and sub freezing overnight low temperatures, flood drains of Missouri, Tennessee Valley in the deep south Saturday and Sunday morning. In the west, heavily amplified trail moving on trail is bringing welcome preservation to the former valley rains and marching stones to dark stricken areas of California. The system will push steadily eastward from the Great Bears and the Rockies. During the next two days, the whip one piece of energy sheared into the northern Rockies wall. The remainder hangs back across the southwest. The bulk of the dynamics and passive moisture will cross with the Dover Wave, which will be welcoming some heavy storm accumulations to the mountains of central Idaho and western Montana this weekend. The southern end of the trail will tap into some chocolate moisture, which should help some fuel some convection across Arizona and New Mexico on Saturday. Later in the period, that increase the onshore for oscillation with a series of weak pulse embedded in the west will will be bringing a renewed chance of light preservation into the Pacific Northwest Light Sunday and Monday. Elsewhere, winter in the central state will be support mostly dry and very mild conditions, but winds will across the plains will be on an increased sun day as the southwest forest driven and the events of the Pacific Trove slanted across the Rockies. Here. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And take a look at forecast discussion here. And that's why coastal storm will move up the east coast today, passing offshore tonight and early Sunday with a potential of producing temperature winds and localized coastal flooded high pressure builds. Over East United States early next week, when it's too cold for it to be across Southern New England, Wednesday for Friday. Here's a way that been developed over Southern New England, South New England, as well as across New Jersey into the New York City metro area over the last few hours as seen on Northeast A8D regional radar loop. Perspiration is trending northward, so expect later that your perspiration is pushed into the south coastal areas by 6 a.m. that continue to move across the region this morning. Expect to rain for most of the day, but there may be some breaks for very little throughout midday. Main concern early into this morning, the event generated will not win in place. As well, take shape off the Del Mar Peninsula, as it appears some cold air damage damage has set up. However, expect with the mayor and a more northeast direction as low moves northeast today, temps have dropped to the land. As skies actually could for a time across South New Hampshire, Norman Central Massachusetts, north of temperatures have been up in the 30s across Southwestern Hampshire, and even to the freezing mark from the KVSA Concord. So we'll see some low 30s across North Hillsburg, Cheshire County. Expect these temperatures to rise in the Low 40s by mid morning wind clouds are already moving into the state of Linus IR satellite. For later today, short range models all continue to seek the first of the two low pressure centers to move northeast today, past the southeast and detected by the CFD that the second low would develop of the North Carolina coast by the same time as a second short wave with strong middle level jet bands at the base of the H5 long wave spectrum. This will reinforce the air rainfall, especially across eastern and central areas. Models continue to signal higher winds due to some two strong level jets across the eastern areas. At the first wind portion late today, increasing pressure gradient along with 8 to 95 jet at 8.5 50 knots allows for a very good low level of mixing to develop during this afternoon as the flux rate increase. Expect constant of increase around 40 knots along the coast and up to 45 knots by late in the day over the coastal waters. As 
We're going to take a look at today's highs here. It's going to be 51 for Portland, Maine. 46 for Albany, New York. 49 for New York City and Boston. 48 for Hartford. 45 and Wor Worcester. And 46 in Concord, Maine. Concord, New Hampshire. So, so. And 43 for Rutland, Vermont. So, predicted temperature range for today. We well, will see. 43 to 51 degrees around New England there. Here are the latest headlines. High wind warning issue for the coastal Florida County as well as for the Cape and the Islands. Wind advisory for all Rhode Island and the rest of eastern Massachusetts. Coastal flood watch continues for the eastern Massachusetts coast of this evening and the Sunday morning high tide. Storm warning issue for all waters east of Massachusetts during the attack. Gale waters posted for all other Massachusetts Rhode Island waters here. And this is the map here. Of the latest headlines here for the coastal storm. And over for trash coming this month and high. Strong the damage wind of seven weeks, but especially eastern Massachusetts right now. High wind warning for southeast Massachusetts Island. Wind advisory is posted for the rest of eastern Massachusetts right now. For the time and strongest winds this afternoon to the Sunday morning along the coast, far Maryland, strongest winds wait until Sunday. 50 to 60 mile power gusts. Possible far southeast Massachusetts, 40 to 50 miles per hour gusts elsewhere across eastern Massachusetts, with down 40 to 50 miles per hour gusts, possibly for the entire region on Sunday, and stout trees, tree limbs, and that's a power, which is many trees still have at least some leaves, which may exacerbate the problem. And this will be strongest winds tonight, dear. Around the Cape Downs, about 55 to 73 miles per hour here. The farther west we go, the more. For much lesser amounts of wind, but we're going to have a lot of wind tonight. Has to be strongest tonight, eastern Massachusetts. Strongest Sunday, western and central Massachusetts, Connecticut, and western Rhode Island there. So it'll be strongest tonight, eastern Massachusetts, Cape Downs, and eastern Rhode Island there. Okay. Moderate, what to expect? Moderate, perhaps, isolated. Pockets, moderate, coastal flood, and beach roads, or coastal flood watch continues for eastern Massachusetts, including Cape Cod and Nantucket. Saturday evening night tide, 7 at 8 p.m. And again, during the early Sunday morning night tide, less than 7 o'clock, as minor number, perhaps, as I parked the water, close to flood and the beach erosion. The Saturday evening night tide appears to be one of the greatest concerns as high spring areas run Hull and Citrate Harbor. Typical hotspots include Salisbury, Plum Island, and off Hull and Citrate. And this is the map for the high tides here. Newburyport waves up to 9 to 12 feet. Gloucester Harbor, 11 to 14 feet. Weighs 4 feet for Boston Harbor, 10 to 14 feet for Sichuan, 6 to 8 feet for Parmesan and Chamonix, 13 to 16 feet. And Sunday morning high tide here. Newburyport can see up to 11 to 13 inch waves to 2.1 inch storm surge and same goes for Gloucester. Boston Harbor is surged about 2.2 feet and weighs 4 inches. 4 feet. Sichuan surged 2.2 Inches waves 13 to 16 feet and Brown Sound 10 to 11 inches and Chatham East surge 1.9 percent and waves 17 to 18 feet. And high impact marine event storm water for the waters east of Massachusetts, storm waters for the west of the waters. Saturday afternoon and Sunday, worst conditions Saturday evening and Sunday morning and 20 foot seas possible across the coastal waters east of Massachusetts, storm force wind gusts up to 50 knots possible. And wave heights up to 20 to 24 feet <coughs> up the Coastal waters of Massachusetts, 16 to 19 feet of Massachusetts Bay off the outer Cape and the Islands there. And the further west you go through the lesser the wave heights is. What mainly rain event? Rain may change your brief period wet snow flows before end of the night, early Sunday morning, where southern New England and low probably have a quarter to one inch of snow. And we can see two inches of rain by the central and, and middle and out of Cape Downs and then take it here. And the further west you go, the less the rainfall mats are here. Okay, summary. Strong and damaging wind gusts and moderate, moderate coastal flood are our biggest concerns with this storm. And strongest winds this afternoon and this Sunday 
across eastern Massachusetts, Rhode Island, then confined Sunday across the interior, wind gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour across the eastern New England, between 40 and 50 miles per hour across the interior. Hard back event for Mariners with a 50 knot wind gust and 20 foot seas expected across the open waters east of Massachusetts. The way may change a brief period of wet snow flares before ending Saturday night. A low probably a recorded of one inch of snow. Alright. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast. It goes like this. And we are under a wind advisory here in effect from 6 p.m. tonight to 7 a.m. Sunday. The National Weather Service in Tonga has issued a wind advisory which is effect from 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Sunday. The high wind watch is no longer effect. Location, not facing eastern and interior southeast of Massachusetts as well as Rhode Island. Winds knock up 15 to 25 miles per hour. Wood gusts as high as 50 miles per hour. Timing, expect winds to increase this afternoon. Pick it around in a Sunday morning. And the patch power lines and trees and tree limbs may be done by these winds fully or partially. Leaf trees will be the most successful to the damage. Our wind advisory is issued when sustained winds are forecast to be 31 to 39 miles per hour. Gusts will be ranging between 46 and 57 miles per hour. Winds this strong are capable of damaging small tree limbs and branches, possibly causing SA power outages, and driving can be difficult, especially high profile vehicles. Day one, day did not. Wind advisory on days 2 to 7, Sunday and Friday. Wind advisory on Sunday. Okay, let's take a look at some day forecast goes like this here. For tonight, for today, rain may up to 10 a.m., high 49 degrees. Not when about 13 and 17 miles per gust of ice, 30 miles per church patients, 9 percent. New person amounts between a quarter and a half and an inch possible. Tonight, rain may before midnight, low man, 33 degrees, and winds would have not when about 18 20 miles per gust of ice, 39 miles per hour. Chest rate was 8 percent. New person amounts between a quarter and a half and an inch possible. Sunday, chest rain and storm before noon, then a slight chance of rain before between noon and 3 p.m. Gusts got high about 43 degrees and Crazy weather, northwest wind about 17 and 21 miles per gust size, 39 miles per chest base just 4 percent, little no stir cumulation expected. Sunday night, most of the coast got low about 20 degrees. Northwest wind about 9 to 14 miles per gust size, 33 miles per Monday, sun sky is about 40 degrees and west wind about 79 miles per gust size, 24 miles per But Monday night, most of the coast got low about 31 degrees. Tuesday, most of the sky about 36 degrees. Tuesday, most of the sky low about 44 degrees. Wednesday, most of the sky about 61 degrees. With that, chest to showers, most cars got a low about 44 degrees and chest patients is 30 percent. First eight, chest to showers, most cars got high about 38 degrees and chest patients is 4 percent. First that, chest to showers, most cars got low about 39 degrees. Chest patients is 4 percent. For Friday, most cars got about 31 degrees. Herders, what a phrase of the day! A rainy and a windy start to your November. This is Page of Good day, what a good positive. I'll see you for an evening report. Have a good day, what a good positive. Here.